This is about the survival of the human race, a sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. Doomsday clock holds at five till midnight. The hands of the infamous Doomsday clock will remain firmly in their place at five minutes to midnight, symbolizing humans' destruction. For the year 2013, scientists have announced, keeping the outlook for the future of humanity quite dim, the group of scientists also wrote an open letter to President Barack Obama, urging him to partner with other global leaders to act on climate change. The clock is a symbol of the threat of humanity's imminent destruction from nuclear or biological weapons climate change, and other human-caused disasters, and making their deliberations about how to update the clock's time this year, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists considered the current state of nuclear arsenals around the globe, the slow and costly recovery from events like Fukushima nuclear meltdown and extreme weather events like Hurricane Sandy that fit in with a pattern of global warming. 2012 was the hottest year on record in the contiguous United States, marked by devastating drought and brutal storms. The letter says, these extreme events are exactly what climate models predict for an atmosphere laden with greenhouse gases. At the same time, the letter did give a nod to some progress, applauding the president for taking steps to nudge the country along a more rational energy path with his support for wind and other renewable energy sources. We have as much hope for Obama's second term in office as we did in 2010 when we moved back the hand of the clock after his first year in office, said the chair of the board that determines the clock's position. This is the year for U.S. leadership and slowing climate change and setting a path toward a world without nuclear weapons. The Doomsday Clock came into being in 1947 as a way for atomic scientists to warn the world of the dangers of nuclear weapons. That year, the bulletin set the time at seven minutes to midnight, with midnight symbolizing humanity's destruction. By 1949, it was at three minutes to midnight as the relationship between the United States and the Soviet Union deteriorated. In 1953, after the first test of the hydrogen bomb, the doomsday clock ticked to two minutes until midnight. The bulletin was at its most optimistic in 1991 when the Cold War thawed and the United States and Russia began cutting their arsenals. That year, the clock was set at 17 minutes to midnight. From then until 2010, however, it was a gradual creep back toward destruction as hopes of total nuclear disarmament vanished and threats of nuclear terrorism and climate change reared their heads. In 2010, the bulletin found some hope in arms reduction treaties and international climate talks and bumped the minute hand of the doomsday clock back to six minutes from midnight from its previous post at five to midnight. But by 2012, the clock was pushed forward another minute. In other words, there are many problems facing the human race that must be solved fairly quickly in order for humanity to survive. Yes, it really is about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask. Revelation chapter 5 And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the backside sealed with seven seals. 2 And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book 
and to loose the seals thereof. 3. And no human in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. 4. And I wept much, because no human was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. 6. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. 7. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and language and people and nationality. 10. And has made us unto our God leaders and priests and we shall reign on the earth. 11. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Twelve saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and, and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Thirteen and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sits upon the throne, and unto the Lamb, for ever and ever. 14. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him, that lives for ever and ever. It's time for the spiritual and physical manifestation of the book of Revelation. Everything that must change, must change, quickly or rapidly, and for the better. And all these are more signs. This is the time when the past, the present, and the future come together are collide into each other in some kind of way. Everything is connected and everything is numbered.